I am Sean Stevenson, and in this video, I'm going to really push on you. In a lot of these videos, I'm playful and silly, and that's important. But this video is going to get real. And this video is about denial. And we all do it. We are in denial about certain things in our lives. And we deny that we're going through them because it's easier to put them off in our mind. Well, I'll get around to that later. Or that's not that bad, or it's not that big of a deal. And denial is a dangerous thing. I'm going to give you an example of how denial really works. Because you have people in your life that care about you. You have people in your life that see things that you don't want to see about yourself. And some of them aren't going to push you because they don't want you to dislike them. They don't want you to take your love away from them. So they'll never be 100% honest with you. And so that's why this video is imperative. When I was a little boy, and this story is extremely vulnerable, um, when I was a little boy, I needed help um, getting on and off uh, the toilet. Um, now I'm strong enough that I can do it um, pretty much on my own. But when I was younger, I needed help with that. And actually, when I was really young in like elementary school, I had a special toilet to go to the bathroom in um, that I needed to go home to use. And so anytime I needed to go to the bathroom, I had to um, call home. And one day... When I called home to go to the bathroom, my mom and dad weren't home. My dad was at work and my mom was running some errand. And that this was pre-cell phone days. And I had to go to the bathroom really bad. I actually had to go diarrhea. Now I know this may be funny or weird, but please hang in there. It's going to really open your eyes to something in your life. So I... I had to go really, really bad, and I was like seven, eight years old, little, little kid, and we couldn't reach my mom, couldn't reach my dad, couldn't reach my neighbors, and then finally, I wheeled off by myself and just went in my pants, and it was horrible, it was awful, but I went into denial. I pretended like nothing was wrong, and everyone around me knew there was something wrong, they could smell it. Everybody around me uh, either felt sorry for me or thought it was funny or, you know, made fun of me, whatever it may be. It was a, it was an awful time, but I just kept living in denial. Like, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. Mm, no, I don't know what you're talking about. All the while, everyone smelled it. And that's what we do in life. We have things going on in our life. That everyone around us sees. Maybe that we're neglecting our health. Maybe that we are out of control with our finances. Maybe we have a drug addiction or some chemical addiction or behavioral addiction. Maybe we're in an abusive relationship. Or we haven't dealt with a past demon and it's continuing to surface. And it's just like I was as a little boy. I just pretended that if it wasn't there, then no one could see it. But they totally knew it. And that's why you have to get real. You have to ask yourself, how much longer am I going to lie to myself? Other people see it. And maybe you're really good at hiding it. Maybe, maybe you're so good at hiding it that it hasn't, that the smell hasn't reached anyone else's nose yet. But it will. And when it gets that bad, then you're left in a toxic situation. And I promise you that if you were to just get real and take care of whatever it is that is toxic in your life, whatever it is, Taking care of it is a important, it's a 
it's a necessity in your life if you're going to succeed on the level that I know you're capable of achieving. So what I want you to do is I want you to get real. I want you to really sit down after this video and maybe write out in a journal entry, what are you in denial about? For me, recently I was in denial about the fact that I was ignoring my studies. I'm working on a PhD right now. And I was ignoring my studies. And I was defensive with anybody that would ask. And then one day I just had to wake up and the fact that I had been blowing off my studies. I need to get real with that. I've had that happen numerous times in many areas of my life. But you're set free when you finally sit down and you say to yourself, okay, I have this issue, I have this problem, I gotta get it taken care of. And I hope that by me pushing on you and by me sharing that vulnerable story, you know that you can't keep sitting around in poopy pants. You gotta take care of your, you know what I'm saying? And get your stuff handled, alright? Because you deserve it. I hope this had some impact on you. I'm Sean Stevenson, and thanks for watching.